Hello and welcome to this uh, this new series. Um, this is Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Um, I bought this uh, a while back on the, the PlayStation or the PlayStation Store, and uh, I haven't gotten around to playing it. Now, I but didn't buy this because uh, I'm nostalgic and I played this as a kid because. Uh, this game came out in uh, 1993, um, where I was approximately two years old, and um, I didn't really start to care about uh, video games until I was uh, maybe 10 or so. Anyways, um, this would be blind, mostly. Um, I have watched... Uh, a let's play of this uh, sips uh, of the o the oxcast. Uh, I watched him play through this, and uh, honestly, I bought it mostly because I really enjoyed the humor and the style of this game. I know that it's uh, originally on PC was uh, a point and click adventure, so I have no idea what to expect from this, but. Um, what I do expect is that I will probably get frustrated a lot, but doing this blind also means that um, I won't be looking up uh, answers to uh, to puzzles and such. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get this started, right? And see what we. Oh, oh, there's another menu scheme. Uh... What have we got? Bonus? What is that? Oh, we got concept art. Uh, yeah, we want the commentary off. I don't think we want that. Uh, let's see, what options do we have? How to play? That's probably a good idea. Use left stick to point the cursor where you would like to go and press X to walk there. Uh, the cursor allows you to interact with the environment. Point the cursor over for objects in the environment to select them. When an object is selected, press square to bring up the list of verb actions that can be performed with it. Point the cursor to select a verb icon. Press X to when the verb icon is highlighted to perform that action. To help you identify interactive objects, more quickly press the up directional button to highlight them. Inventory menu. To bring up the inventory menu, move the cursor toward the bottom of the screen. Point the cursor at an item to highlight it and press X to select it. Press blah 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 blah. Highlight another item, yes, to combine. When an inventory item is selected, it will appear inside the cursor. Move the cursor over objects or, the char or characters in the, ob in the environment and press X to use the envi 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 inventory item with it. Right, that should be... Um, how's the settings? So we could go for, I mean, I think this is fine so far. Uh, perhaps I will lower it a bit in post-editing if it's not. There are other languages, though that's probably not very interesting. Right, uh, let's get a new game started. We'll go for about half an hour or any or around then when it's convenient. So if it's convenient at 23 with like a chapter or something like that, uh, then it'll only be chip 23, but around half an hour because... Uh, would you like to enable the developer's commentary? Nope. All right. Hmm. should drink that it looks bad for you nonsense it makes me feel great smarter more aggressive 
Hmm. I feel like I could. Now this is from a time before tentacle like porn uh, started to become um, a different thing. Like I could. <laughs> Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. <laughs> Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. So, uh,. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. Hmm. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, technically, um, Day of the Tentacle is considered the the, the sequel to uh, one of the very first LucasArts games, Mani Maniac Ma Mansion. Which was from, I believe, 1989 or something like that. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, this was from a time when where you needed where you had all the people uh, that had made a game. They would usually appear in the first first before you actually got to play the game. Uh, now, if you got uh, credits this early on, uh, other than the 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 company at distribution and the company that had created it, uh, you would think that. Why have I got uh, five minutes of of fill of intro scene? Hmm. Okay. There's a lot of things going on here. <laughs> I think just letting me the the game and the, the video play speak for itself is probably the best idea here. Okay, I think we're getting into action now. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get a test of drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is... Where's his secret lab? Okay, so we get the controls there. Hmm. Switch window mode. Well, that seems pretty simple. Uh, right. I think I got it. So, question is, is there... Uh, settings? What would that be? Game settings. Subtitles. Ah! I knew there was something I missed. There we go. And back. Uh, resume game, yes. We don't want to start a new game right now. Come with it. So there is... Ah, oh, quite a lot to click. See so you... Oh, help wanted sign. What? Uh, let's just look at that. Help wanted. 
Lab assistant. Hard-working moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma not required. Hmm. Oh, we got a sign. Uh, let's look at this flyer. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Uh, can we take it? We can. I think the, the this is uh, from a time where you could pretty much pick up anything that wasn't nailed down. And uh, with these type of games, you usually had uh, to... Um, to use most most of the things you picked up, but you also picked up a lot of garbage uh, that you never really got to use anywhere. What is this? Chuck the plant. A horticultural horror. Hmm. Uh, can we pick it up? I can't touch it. It's spiny. Yeah, all right. Uh, look at the door. Oh. Hmm, let's see. We can ring the bell. That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, use service bell. That, that didn't do anything. Oh, there's a lot to do with this. Uh, can we pull? It's stuck to the floor. That would probably be the same if we were like this. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. Okay, so he focuses on the mint rather than on the... What is that? How did that get up there? Fake barf, okay. Uh, what is that? That... <laughs> Signed, here's your EPA grant. Keep up the good work. <coughs> Hi from Mommy, Ronnie 83. Okay. Um, what about the payphone? Oh, there's more over here. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Uh, we will take that. Grandfather clock. Oh. There's something funny about that clock. Uh, can we open? Aha! A secret passage. Way in a trophy. It's all too easy. Okay. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? <laughs> okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now, Purple <laughs> Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. <laughs> Whoops indeed. Now is to turn off my sludge -o magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday, through the time machine. <laughs> that's that's it's a weird transition. Fault, Bernard. Behold, children. 
The Chronogen! Dog, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll be. Yes, uh, the doctor took the words right out of my mouth. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place mom and dad are always talking about. <laughs> That's a weird reference. Okay, so there will be a lot of cutscenes in this first episode. I don't know. I don't know. What? Was that a maid? <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. Hmm. After all, he is a doctor. I am not sure that's the... Uh... What? I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's a different reaction to that. Okay, who are we starting with? Hoagie, it seems, with a rough landing, and Laverne stuck in a tree, and Bernard is back in real time, it seems. Cheap mail order jewels. Uh. What happened to Hoagie and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen <laughs> landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? That is an excellent yes, question. Well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Mm -hmm. Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plan. Step two, save world. Step three, profit. Step three, get out of my house. Ah, close enough. Get cracking. Right, are we in control again? Oh, we are. Right, okay. It's over here. Hmm. So there doesn't seem to be anything else over here. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Hmm. What is over here? This uh, lever seems. Let's see. I think it's the switch for the sludge matic machine. Uh, push lever. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, is there anything on this paper? It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! Yeah, that is pretty impressive. I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. Mm, there's a joke with them looking like toilets. My ingenious super battery design, please. Mm. 
You really flushed them. Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. Well, that makes me question because Bernard was in there earlier. Hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Okay, well, small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello, Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat, did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's his name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Yep. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? <laughs> I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Herbie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 I think great, I... great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Well, that's... Uh... Time for me to save the world, I guess. Okay, so I think what this screen means is that we can switch over to Bernard. And the settings, and there is what Hoagie currently has in his inventory. So... It's a comfort tea. So I know that the uh, the main gimmick to this game is you said it, Hoogie, um, is to uh, uh, move things between the timelines uh, through the time machine. So basically, what is going on is that we're going to have um, three inventories: one for Hoagie, one for Laverne, and one for Bernard. And uh, sometimes you'll find an item in uh, the future with Laverne that Hoagie needs. And so and, and the other way around as well. All right, Hoagie, where are we? Let's... Oh, oh that was not... that was not a lot. Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag ready or not. Hmm. Okay. Alright, that, maybe there's something over here I don't know. What have we got? That's a carriage. Is there anything that sort of strikes into the eye? Not really. Uh, let's take a look at the... Let's leave. Let's take a look at it and... It's totally covered with crud. Uh, it doesn't look very rival. What can we do? Luke use. Making it dirtier won't help. Okay. Uh, what do we have in our inventory? A can opener and a patent appl application. Well, that won't do as much good in this situation. Okay. Anything in the mailbox? Mailbox. Let's, uh, let's open. Aha! What is this? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Oh, did he did he take it? Oh, he did. Well, that's um, probably a good idea. Right, let's head inside. I don't think there's more out here. Oh yeah, we have to open. Right. Um. Clark's <coughs> army. Mm. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Thou silence or something, probably right. Well, that's cool. Uh, great hat, man. <laughs> great hat, man. The good thing about this is that I don't really have to do a lot of voice acting, so I don't have to remember a lot of voices. 
though it also could be kind of fun to do voice acting to this game or a game like this. Uh, yeah. I know some dudes in a band who'd eat roaches for hats like that. Hmm. They're called insensitive spittoon. <laughs> Sensitive spittoon. Uh. They play funk, punk, folk, polka, house, runs, rock. Okay. Uh. <laughs> They're heavily influenced by bands like Limpet Harmonica and Howling Moon Rock at Limbo. Okay. I have something for Red Edison. Uh, hmm, well, the mummy does kind of have the same head shape as uh, Professor Fred. You wouldn't be him, would you? Well, nice talking to you, dude. Okay, so that got us out of that uh, instantly. Main hall that's there. Maybe go around here. Hmm. Maybe this grandfather clock is weird as well. I'm guessing it conceals the entrance to a secret lab. Well, that's um it's closed. <laughs> Bit of butt crack there. Ah, well, how that's convenient. It's covered with plans and junk. Hmm, can we take? No, we cannot take anything. Uh, he seems busy. Uh, let's talk to him. Hey, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> you look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. <laughs> then again, maybe not. Uh. Oh yeah, that would be that would be two hundred years in the past. Franklin, I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about. Glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like? Huh. Uh, what are you inventing? That's probably more interesting. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Okay, uh, I know an inventor. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius <laughs> of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. <laughs> um, didn't I already ask this? What are you inventing? Yeah, I did. Okay, so the option for giving him, for giving him the uh, the letter. Cut that hair a bit shorter. So the option to give him the letter didn't show up in the in the Google box. So that's because. Okay, I got a trophy there. <laughs> well, on that note, let's give the letter to uh, Red Edison. I don't wanna. Uh, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It was uh, this we had to give to Red Edison. Yeah. Oh. There we go. It's a bit finicky. Uh, Obviously meant for a place for a computer. Mm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and
and some gold. Okay, well, we'll go on the look for uh, oil, vinegar and gold in the next episode that I can't promise when will be because I'm only doing this because I have a little extra spare time. Uh, but when the next episode comes, take care until then. And why?